and uh, it's partially framed and I'm working on the nose spars right now and I'm going to insert this next spar in and uh, then I'll glue it, hot glue it after it's stuck in there. You have to push, push it into the groove on each, uh, push the rivet into the groove at each station here and then wind it up. I have a couple of ribs that are a little squiggly that didn't get glued in straight. I'll have to figure out a way to straighten those up. Sometimes I can just cut them with a saw right here. Move them the way I want, and then just re-glue it with that hot glue. And it seems to be a fine method of uh, straightening them out. Second to it dries. We'll be good to go. Got the trailing edge. Uh, almost completely glued on and it turned out really straight and I'm really happy with it. Um, it's hard to get these straight sometimes. I found a couple more ribs up here that were crooked and I didn't glue them down so what I'm going to do is take and that one's hanging over the edge there. I'll take and cut it down here like I did the other one and uh, re-glue it in. And then I found uh, one that's even worse right here, so we'll fix that one as well. This is one that I cut, and I'm just going to glue it here. And it's amazing how strong this hot glue is once it, it cools. It's actually a pretty good glue for doing things like this because it's still somewhat pliable but it's uh, strong and it'd be good for uh, vibration that we get ice boating and, and land sailing. I'm going to go ahead and hit each rib kind of the same way too. This stuff's so thick it kind of acts like a fillet down in here. And uh, this should help tie everything together really well. Got everything glued up, and uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and hit some of these webs that are not flush with the spars and uh, even them up.
skeletal framework of both the uh, wing and the flap made now. And now I need to just put on the, uh, the end caps on the ends and then on the bottom down here and then uh, do some blocking for the hounds and also for where the flap connections will be. And um, that'll take a little while to figure out but uh, after that then I can start skinning them which will help straighten out the um, spars. As you can see the flap is kind of bowed a little bit but the minute I put the skin on uh, uh, it'll straighten it right up.